Divide using long division. 8 divided by 3. Okay, so if we did our long division, that would look like that. 8 divided by 3. So, when we do long division, right, we start at the largest place value over here. We do 8 divided by 3. Or how many 3's fit in 8, right? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So not, 3 times 3 is too big. So we'd have to do 3 times 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. So we'd write the 6 there, and we'd subtract. And we'd be left with 2 here. So then our next step in long division would be to bring something down, right? But we have nothing left to bring down. We still have this 2 here, and 3 is not going to fit in 2. So what do we do here? This is a case of something called a remainder. Okay, so let's, I'm going to draw a picture to help, help us understand this. Let's say we had three people, okay, three smiling people, and we have eight cookies, there's eight cookies, to divide amongst those three people, right? This is what that question is. Eight divided by three, so we have eight cookies and we're dividing them amongst three people. So first we would give one cookie, to, let's give one cookie to each person. Okay, so we've used up three of the cookies. All right, so then now there's five left. Okay, so let's give one more cookie to everyone. One more cookie to everyone. All right, so we used another three. So we get rid of three here. And now we have two left. But we have three people, right? So we can't give out these evenly, right? So this right here is what's known as a remainder. It's whatever is left over once you have finished doing your division. So 8 divided by 3, if we're splitting 8 cookies between 3 people, everyone gets 2, right? Which is the same as we got here in our division, 2. And then there's 2 left over that we can't give out anymore because if we started giving them out, well, one person wouldn't have any. And we have to do our division. We're trying to do our division evenly. So instead, here, when we have something left over and we can't do any more division, we write remainder 2. So we'd write R2 to show that it, there's a remainder of 2. So once we're finished our division, there's also going to be a remainder of 2 left over, which is this right here. Okay? We're splitting our 8 cookies amongst 3 people. Those 3 people get 2 each, and then there's 2 left over. Right? That's what a remainder is. So let's try some more questions on remainders um, to get you more comfortable with what a remainder is.